having to figure out on their own with some help from school districts. WUSA 9 reporter Nathan Baca followed some families of fifth graders finding out what challenges they face. Some people already have the whole school year off. Yeah, I know. Um, it's really nerve wracking because I never yeah, said goodbye to Miss Ray properly. Canceled. Fifth grader Della McCahill talks to her classmates on FaceTime, trying to make sense of the new normal. Parents have set up so-called triage classrooms in their home basements. Parents tell us they are satisfied with the lesson plans Montgomery County Public Schools provides online, but it does involve a bit of guesswork at what lessons to prioritize. In short, education these days is a bit of semi-organized chaos. The scheduling really helps keep the kids' expectations um, into a structure that they're used to at school. In this time of coronavirus, school recess has been replaced by a stroll to the creek and trying to maintain social distancing. Today, there's percentages and ratios. Oh, I don't know what that is. Neither do I. Because I was off by 0.0. .0. With help from their parents, these Bannockburn and Chevy Chase elementary students made their own class schedule, reading books they checked out before the libraries closed. Today I did my, it was like this poem thing, and you do a topic. Today I did the lunar landing thing. Oh, yeah. Most of the school work that these counties are putting up are, in theory, review. Um, so I haven't been putting tons of pressure on the, like, learning, learning, learning. We're trying to make it a little bit fun, like where we're doing science experiments. Meanwhile, these kids are wondering just how much longer their lives will be on pause. In Bethesda, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.